So we know that the time interval between abnormal mammogram to definitive diagnosis of breast cancer is an extremely anxiety provoking time for patients. So we wanted to evaluate the variations in timing across the nation and determine what a delay in diagnosis really means. There have been previous studies who looked at time from onset of symptoms to treatment, but no one has looked at the time from abnormal mammogram to first biopsy. And so we wanted to really specify that time period so we can provide better care for our patients and get them answers sooner than later. Across the nation within the SEER data set, the time range anywhere from zero days to 181 days from abnormal mammogram to first breast biopsy. So some patients were waiting 181 days before they knew for sure whether they had cancer or not. So in our study, we looked at the wide range of times from abnormal mammogram to first breast biopsy, and we looked at the interquartile ranges, and we determined that the fourth quartile, or greater than 31 days from abnormal mammogram to first breast biopsy, would be considered a delay. That kind of question mark time period is so anxiety producing. You don't know whether you have cancer, you don't have cancer, and then you start going down the rabbit hole of, well, what stage is it and what's my prognosis? So I personally feel any kind of delay between admiral mammogram to definitive diagnosis is anxiety producing.